Are you ready to go to ISIS yet? I'm going to talk with Zuka and have him start a shuttle flight check. After that, we'll head out. How are the port stabilizers? They check out Mandalore. All systems are green. Good. I want the shuttle bound for Onderon within the hour. What do you want? Is all in readiness? <laughs> it is. Like I promised. Why? You want to back out now? My only concerns are for the one you escort to Onderon, Mandalorian. Would you do any less for one of your clan? Don't pretend to understand us. We Mandalorians are a breed apart. If by apart you mean scattered, broken, and lost, then yes, you are correct. Not for long. Soon the Mandalorians will be strong again, united as one clan under one banner. Mine. Ah, yes. The Great Crusade. After the first one was ended by Revan and the Jedi. Such a defeat was merciful, an echo of the end, when your ships were in flames, crushed in the grip of Malachor V. But I do not need to remind you of such things. I was at Malachor V, and I remember how many Jedi died to stop us there. And no matter how many dead orbit that planet, the Mandalorians still live. Clan Ordo still lives. See Kex there? He was serving on Nar Shaddai's muscle for the huts. Kelborn was a scout for the Duros on Frontier Worlds. I brought them here, gave them a purpose. This galaxy will be ours again, I promise you. That is the future. Indeed. The future is always in motion. It is a difficult thing to see. Perhaps there will be no New Age Mandalore, no great Mandalorian crusade. Perhaps your people fought their last battle at Malachor V, and you have been dying ever since, a quiet death that will last centuries. And perhaps all that remains will be what I see before me. A man, wounded by a Jedi, encased in a Mandalorian shell, hunted by the thought of being the last of the Mandalorians. You've got some guts talking to me like that. You think your age or your Jedi whelp are going to keep you safe from me? No, Mandalore, you are wrong. I hope that it is you who will keep the one I travel with safe. You are loyal, and you have served many masters, even when they abandoned you. Do you wonder where he wanders now, Mandalore? Why he gave you your orders, then abandoned you at the edge of the galaxy? How do you know that? I know many things, and I can answer the question that burns within your shell, Mandalore. That there is a price. You must keep the one I travel with safe. She is important to me, more important than anything. Show the same loyalty you have shown in the past, Mandalore. If there is a Mandalorian crusade, let it be for something that will carry your people's memory into the future. So when the time comes when there are no more Mandalorians, then at least their honor will remain. The one I travel with has walked your same path, and I ask that when the end comes that you remember that kinship, even if it seems there is nothing else left. Forget the Jedi. Keep your eyes on her. Mm. One, two, three. Mandalorians, we've got company. Stealth targets have breached our perimeter. <laughs> Wait a moment. I sense there is a disturbance in the camp. Our enemy has tracked us here. I did not expect them so soon. How did they get here, I wonder? Regardless, we must eliminate them all. None of them can escape. Our whereabouts must remain a secret. Let us join the battle. Our allies will need our help.
Vaklu saying that the Republic ship attacked first? That's madness! Unfortunately, lie or not, it's a madness people will believe. The timing of this is atrocious. A space battle above our skies? So many of our fighters lost? Curiously, only Tobin's men were involved in that battle. That's Shuta! Strong word, Your Majesty. But there is no good time for news like this. I recommend we continue with our plan. But won't that bring even more followers to Vaklu's side? Increasing his power? For a time, perhaps. But we both know he's not the true threat. It's his unseen support from the shadows that we must drag out into the light. Then, and only then, can we strike. I fear by then it will be too late. Here we are. The city of Isis. It's been shut down tight for months now. General Vaklu is close to declaring martial law. We won't be able to travel too far in the city. Fortunately, I have a friend in this quarter of the city. He's a doctor by the name of Dagon Ghent. His office is on the other side of the market square. It might be best if you do the talking around here. The Andoronians have a mixed view of Mandalorians after we conquered their world.
Yes, is something wrong? Of course, it would be my pleasure. I try to treasure these moments before the next crisis begins. Very well. What is it you wish to know? The problems with the Jedi are my... Very... Yes, but if you ever... Yes, is so of course. I try very well. I imagine. Oh, it's been a while since you've docked here, eh? I suppose the lockdown has hurt your profits as well. You are human. Your face looks. Oh, never mind that. Oh, it must be hard to shuttle people when nobody's allowed to leave. The blockade has been bad for everyone. Nothing new. Our space forces have been in full readiness ever since the space battle in orbit. Tensions are running high. All Republic vessels must be searched, and the delays are turning pilots grey before their time. And ever since the Republic fired on our space forces, things have been even slower. Bad days. Bad days. And things are getting worse. I'd get out of the system quickly, if I were you, friend. Well, doesn't look like you have any trade goods, so the inspection's just a formality. Here's your starport visa. Don't lose it. They're priceless right now. If you want to leave the planet, you need a starport visa. They're very hard to get. Many people want to get out of here before things get worse. There's strict food and water rationing, and General Vaklu's troops have been very thorough in finding Republic dissidents. Bombing's very common. Certainly. Mind what I said about the starport visa. I know one captain already who can't get back into the starport.
Fair winds to you, Offworlder. Is it too much to hope that you are a Talosian merchant? These beasts you see here are for delivery to Telos, but the Republic vessels that transport them have to wait for thorough and needlessly long searches. So the city is stacked with caged beasts waiting for their ships. We have stopped gathering beasts now, but they still fill the city. For Drexel and Ryder, the Athorians brought wealth and prosperity. Our settlements prospered, but now... They have been kept in their cages for a long time. But, yet at times, I feel as if something else is affecting them. Frightening them. Perhaps it is the city itself. Isis has fallen upon dark times, and tensions run high in the streets. I am a beast rider. I have flown great distances gathering the animals you see here. We keep hoping that Ethorians or Telosians get through the Space Force's searches so that we can sell them. Telos was attacked by Darth Malak in the Jedi Civil War. The surface was completely destroyed. The Ethorians have been searching for appropriate wildlife to create a new Telos, but their merchants are stalled by the blockade. Our people have been here for centuries, though we were not always one with the wilds of Onderon. In ancient times, our people were criminals, prisoners who were cast out of Isis and sentenced to die by the beasts in the wilds. But our ancestors learned how to survive and even tame the mighty beasts. They became our strength and companions. We fought endlessly with Isis for resources and survival. But two generations ago, an Isis princess named Galia and a great beast rider hero, Oron Kira, married. They united our peoples. But now things are unraveling. Even the beasts can smell it in the air. Many beast riders have fallen to the city ways, and some are now no more than common thugs. Queen Talia and her cousin General Vaklu argue in open councils. The beasts stir from the changes in the wind, and cannot be calmed, and we beast riders find it harder to enter the city each day. Calm. Calm. What? Run! The Boma is... out of control! Yes? Is something wrong? You have no wounds that I can see. I... I don't know what to say. I had heard stories, but I assumed that they were fledgling riders simply tales that grow in the telling. Not since my first Drexel have I lost control of a beast. I apologize profusely. Here, I give you these credits for the danger I put you in. I am so sorry for insulting you with my offering. Here, here is more. Again, I apologize.
halt, Offworlder. You'll have to answer some questions before you go into the city. What is your business on Isis? Uh, why not? I can see you have no crates or cargo, and your ship is obviously not affiliated with the Republic. You're free to go. Don't lose your starport visa, otherwise you won't be leaving for a long while. Let's hurry this up. I want him escorted out of here quickly. This is outrageous. I'm not a spy. I'm a journalist for Isis Calm. You're a Republic spy, and your propaganda will be silenced. We are taking you back to our barracks for interrogation. But, well, you can't be serious. You accuse me of propaganda? I have proof that Vaklu is withholding information on the so-called Republic. One more word of treason out of you. What are you looking at? This is none of your business. Please, ma'am, help me. Vaklu's troops won't listen. I'm just a journalist, not a spy. This spy has been using his position as a journalist to spread lies and dissent among our people. No doubt he's been up to other treasonous activity as well. But that's just crazy! I was a member of the Resistance. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars. Yes, and your disloyalty now deeply sickens me. What do you mean? I like the way you think. Men, let's take the back way to the barracks. But no, no, wait. You can't do this! I'm Captain Galisi, Offworlder. If you want to pass here, I'll need to see your starport visa. I'm not supposed to talk to Off you have the look of someone used to adversity. A cut above the rabble around here. I have a business proposition for you. Everyone around here begs and pleads night and day for open starport visas. Very touching how well they act out their lies. Or truths. It doesn't matter, really. What does matter is credits. Hard currency. I offer you 2,000 credits if you find an open starport visa. You won't find a better deal. I only know of one person who might offer something comparable. And what's going on there is illegal. I'm a legitimate trader, so there's no risk. There's only one thing ultimately more important than money, and that's your life. She's trouble. I wouldn't deal with her. I want nothing to do with her. If you want to get involved with that sort of person, you'll have to figure it out on your own. No, I don't think so. It's really very simple. We don't have anything more to talk about, unless you get an extra visa. In the Council of Lords today, Lord Dashiell recommended a special commendation for Colonel Tobin due to his brilliant command of our armada in the skies above Onderon. Without him, Lord Dashiel said, the Republic attack would surely have done more damage. Tobin is one of Isis's greatest heroes and deserves recognition. Welcome to what must be the smelliest place in the universe, Offworlder. How can I assist you? Athorians have been buying them to help rebuild Telos. I don't know why, but ever since they started, the Beast Riders have been crawling out of the woodworks to sell them animals. But the Republic blockade has meant long delays. And because of that, beast cages are filling up the streets of Isis. That's an air defense tower. The city's filled with them. Isis is an ancient city. 
And for many generations, our main enemy was the Beast Riders that lived outside the city. Towers like these were built to protect us against Drexel and their Beast Riders. About 50 years ago, Princess Gallia married one of the great leaders of the Beast Riders, Orin Kira. That was right at the start of the Beast Wars. By the end of it, Gallia was crowned queen and finally there was peace between our people. Stay out of trouble. Back again, Offworlder? I'm sure you... These are troubled times. You've probably heard that General Vaklu and Queen Talia are having some... disagreements. I've been warned from command to keep my opinions to myself on that. So I've learned my lesson and I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Ask around, though. There are plenty of people who'd like nothing more than to talk about it. Times are too complex for a simple soldier like myself. Sometimes I made the mistake of answering questions honestly. If you say anything bad about a superior officer, they call that disrespecting the rank. Do that too many times and it's not long before you're a civilian. The politics of the day is probably the most talked about subject in the city, and everyone wants to share their particular view of what's going on. Opinions are like Gizka around here. They breed like mad. Times are too calm. If you say... Stay out of... Please tell me you're an off-worlder. You came from the spaceport, right? You are? Wait, this is not so. <laughs> you think to make a joke on Gagarin? <laughs> but this is good news. You have a starport visa, right? I can only sell my best weapons if you have that. These soldiers ensure that I don't forget these formalities. Watch it, Keg. The captain already has enough complaints about you. No need to be alarmed, my foreign friend. Pay the soldier no heed. Pretend he isn't here.
There must come a time when the queen bows to the will of the people. The Republic has brought nothing but war and death. In our 50 years of flying their colors, we have had more war than the past millennia. Back General Vaclu in his effort to make her see reason. We do not need the Republic. They need our resources, our world, and our blood. For all that we have given, now we get nothing. The Republic is weak and falling apart. Its Jedi, whose fallen brethren have brought such misery to us, have disbanded. Let's be the first world to take our future into our hands. Are you with me? Exactly. That is all we ask. Close to two-thirds of Onduranians want to reclaim our independence, to isolate ourselves from the ravages of the Republic, to relive our golden age when we answered to no Senate. That's enough, Ponlar. If you keep this up, you're going to spend time in detention. You're coming awfully close to treason. You can't silence me forever, soldier. But I'll keep my peace. For now. The rumor I've heard is that you don't fully agree with our queen and her supporters. If you aren't adverse to Queen Talia stepping down, we could use your help. It would be quite worth your while. I am a strong supporter of General Vaklu. The Merchant Quarter is an important area, not only financially but strategically as well. It is one of the few districts that is directly connected to the Royal Palace. The Queen and her advisors are well aware of this and have ensured that the captains here are extremely loyal to her. This presents complications for Vaklu. If you could arrange for them to be removed from their command, you will be richly compensated. You can't attack them directly. The entire city would be after you if you assaulted their checkpoints. You may have to be subtle and patient. They don't have to be killed, just removed from command. There's Galisi at the starport. Riken commands from the turret tower. And Bastuko guards the entrance to the sky ramp. All loyal and all need to be reassigned. He's the most junior of the captains. His superior, Captain Sulio, met with an accident. I believe you're familiar with that. Besides his strong loyalty to the Queen, I know next to nothing about him. He sometimes frequents the local cantina when he isn't at his post. He's been responsible for the Merchant Quarter for years. He's been chastised repetitively for his criticism of General Vaklu. His years of service won't protect him if he continues to subvert the chain of command. He has received several warnings. With a nudge, he just may get a dishonorable discharge. He's the most junior of the captains. His superior, cap besides his... A true veteran, years of honorable service. Completely dedicated to the Queen. Sadly, I think he's more on our side than the Queen's. But he's an old soldier that can't adapt to today's complex situation. Regardless of what the best interests of Onderon are, he won't swerve from executing the Queen's misguided decrees. Persuasion may be ineffective. Take this military security card. It can be used to slice into security terminals. Perhaps you'll find solutions there. About what? For each task you complete, I am prepared to pay you 2,500 credits. Plus you will earn the favor of some powerful people. We could make your job much easier here. We should try to get General Vaklu to be on our side. He has a shrewd mind and is far more fit for command. Queen Talia is young and too idealistic. A veteran leader is what this planet needs and would make a better ally. Vaklu is no fool. Even if we've had disagreements in the past, he'll recognize how advantageous an alliance could be between us. I won't remain silent any longer. The Republic has actively attacked us. They attack our spaceships unprovoked. What next? An invasion? Perhaps they seek to conquer us. Will you stand idly by? Will you let them bomb our city? No! If Queen Talia is so removed that she won't do what the people so clearly want, then we must show her with force. That's it, Ponlar. We're taking you in. You've gone too far. Brothers and sisters, let us rise up now and march to the palace. Our will cannot be denied.
That's right! Death, death, death is a queen! Death, 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 death is rise! Grab arms! We, we will, will march. march! Why are you joining in this? I prefer Vaklu over Talia, but this is hardly a task for a warrior. Shrewd. I hate to lower myself to joining this mob, but your plan may work. You would fight with them? This is madness! We need reinforcements! The off-world joins, joins us! Let's fight these rats! Let's fight these rats! The the rules rules die. Die. Yes, is something wrong? Very well. There. That you have no wounds that I can. Very. I imagine. Back again, Offworlder? I'm sure you have a Starport visa. If I were you, I'd... That's an air defense tower. Towers like... A dr... That's a long story. You sure you have the time? Someone else who likes history, huh? All right. Isis was formed pretty much at the dawn of our civilization. It was born out of necessity. It protected us from the dangerous beasts that litter Onderon. This city is as old as our civilization. Most of our technology was invented to fortify these walls and protect us. For ages, our worst criminals were cast out of the city to an almost certain death. It wasn't completely certain, though. Some of the criminals figured out how to survive out there. They learned how to tame the native beasts. And it wasn't long before they turned their attention to Isis. About 50 years ago, Princess Gallia married one of the great leaders of the Beast Riders, Orin Kira. That was right at the start of the Beast Wars. By the end of it, Gallia was crowned queen and finally there was peace between our people. It's hard to put aside centuries of conflict. There's an uneasiness between our people. The Beast Riders are upset that General Vaklu has forbidden Drexel and Isis. Citizens usually only see the fallen Beast Riders, who know better than thugs. Certainly, things are quiet right now. I have some time. What do you want to talk about? These are troubled times. You've probably heard that... I've been warned from command to keep my opinions to myself. Ask around, though. Times are too calm. If you... Yes, tell them what you really think, Riken. I don't think so. I know you'd like nothing better than getting me drummed out of the military, but I'm not gonna say a word. It's not that simple. Soldiers are guardians. We protect people. But if they get too political, then it enters dangerous territory. It can even lead to a coup d'etat. Are you implying something, Riken? The only thing I'm implying is that it's my duty as a soldier to keep politics at home. On the job, I respect the rank and the chain of command. Strength? It's not about strength. The military is being corrupted by the general. 
If those faithful to the Queen don't steer clear of Vaklu's cat hound... That's enough! You may be the Queen's pawn, Riken, but you will not rail against a brilliant general like Vaklu. Can't you see it? He's slick with words, but Vaklu's inner circle are responsible for dark deeds. Anyone that speaks out against him is labeled a rebel spy. You think the Republic needs a few hundred spies and Isis? Most spies are picked up in raids and never heard from again. It's just wrong. I will see you are relieved of your command for this. Your mouth just ended your career. No matter how distinguished your war record is, it is over! I don't know how much more help I'll be. Won't be in the military too much longer. It's the Offworlder. Listen, let's keep this brief. I've probably lost my command already because of the conversation we had. I don't see how it could get worse. But the galaxy has a funny sense of humor about that. I again apologize for the Boma attack. Please, Captain, help me. My children and I are desperate to get off of Onderon. Do you have an open starport visa? So, you're back. I only know of one. There's a... You're back to visit me. I've heard the news. One captain has been removed, two to go. Here are the credits we talked about. There's twice as much waiting for you if you do what is being asked. Kawanabota Ayuka Taigwa Kankidora. Yasora ku tuka ulwanji yumalithba. Da hupa, bosa curata, go juju tavadumba munsuru ku moga chi norta hirembe wanachi, kaki mogo grabo, kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura, ta yaita, ta bosananansata. Kawana bota ayuka taigua kankidora, ya tavadumba munsuru ku plagliawa, bo bagara. Kawana bota yunta tanga. Fereki mangra du no coherete, chutara chomo sincho kava. Kawana bota yunta tanga kina. On dollar no saga, drum pavana kara. Kawana bota ayuka taigua kankidora. Pariki, mangra, do cha screeni do kawana bota yunta tanga. Da wancha mori konsu. Unta chiwita inka ki. Muli brawa i berendia ti. Wanta sort. Jun kawana bota yunta tanga kinama. Kawana bota yunta tanga.
You're back to visit me. Two of the poor captains have lost their commands. Great shock, no doubt. Just one more left, and the royalist captains will be no more. Here is the sum of credits we agreed upon. There's Galisi at the starport. Riken commands from the turret tower. And Bastuko guards the entrance to the sky ramp. All loyal. He's the most junior of the captains. His superior, Captain Sulio. Met with an axe. Besides his strong loyalty to the Queen, I know next to nothing about him. He sometimes... There was an alert over by the... There has been a serious accident here. The sky ramp is closed to all personnel pending an investigation. Leave, now! Tinachara, Granacha, Ganoviso, Toto Anoka, Terando Nosh, we Rakichi Sa, Donas Rakichi Sa, Dakosha, Nicho Toro, Punta Jumkarataka. You looking for Dagon? You're not gonna find him here. The soldier captain was murdered at the cantina real good. They got some suspects at the tower. From what I hear, Dagon Ghent is one of them. It's the turret tower on the other side of the market. Captain Riken is the man to talk to. If you talk to him, tell him I got his 20 credits.
You look like an off-worlder. My name's Galisi. I'm a checkpoint captain at the Merchant Quarter. If you're here for Juma Juice, it's not that good. But at least it's cheap. I don't think Bith have the same sense of taste we do. Long day, as always. Sulio was captain of that checkpoint for years. I never knew why she came here every night until I got her job. We stand at the checkpoints all day long. It gets hot out there and my feet are always killing me. But now I'm in charge and everybody's problems are mine. So I have to deal with all the people begging to get out of the city. Every one of them's got a story. Let me tell you, there are a lot of sad stories out there. Hmm, she was murdered. I didn't want her job, but I got it now. The same as everyone. People are trying to blame that doctor, Dagon Ghent. I don't think even Command believe he did it, but someone's got to take the blame. I... I almost think that investigators aren't really looking. Dagon's convenient. They don't want to find the real murderer. Sulio was murdered. Maybe even assassinated. I might be a little paranoid. I have a wife and daughter to look after, and I feel like I'm a target now. I'm tempted to just grab my family and take the first shuttle out of here. I really am torn. There are days... There are some days where I think I'm a fool to stay. So the rumors are true. If you're working with who I think you are, I'll leave. Right now. Just don't hurt my family. I, I promise. I, I won't tell anyone. I'll be on the first shuttle out. Um, I'll be going. Nice to meet you, Sentient. Are you interested in a friendly game of Pazak? The deck is warm, the drink is plentiful, and the company amiable. Can I tempt you? Foul business, that is. Like most nights, I was here. What do you want to talk about? <sighs> know him. He's probably my best friend on this planet. Honestly, he's not a very good doctor. But he is a great drinking companion. I'd much rather talk about something else. Focusing on the negative is no way for a gambler to live. Vituto.
Kavadunpe Masuraku, Popayi, the Hopopote Nyogo, Jucho Picho, Gwen Tabani Sochu, Norotoga Proto Lalashish, Kavadunpe Masuraku, Popayi, Botenya, Tachimorosa Gams. The Hopo Botenyo go Jucho Picha, when Taba ni Sochu, Norotoga Kavadumpe Masuraku, Popayi Botenya Croton Oranga Manatandi Grot Nunchka Wanazicho, Tanto Todot Croton Oranga Manatandi Groto, Mopiluna Wanazichin, Si Wano Bosch Croton Oranga Manatandi Groto. Mopiluna wana si chin si wano bosh. Nsukre ma sukun batungala. Me rontono chun saraka roto. Nunchka wana si chin. Tanto todos. Nsukre ma sukun batungala. Me ron. Nsukre ma sukun batungala.
Yes, is something wrong? Welcome back. Go, Kale, Gigi. I have heard some soul. There's got to be something you need, something you want. I have connections, many connections in the city. I can provide high quality, unique weapons that you won't be able to find elsewhere. I even have a rare lightsaber crystal, something you'd never find elsewhere. If you need money, I'll pay you 5,000 credits. All I ask is get me one open starport visa. I really can't be any help with that. I might have been in the same detention cell that night that Dagon's in now. The soldiers were asking me some entertaining questions that night. I've got no idea what was going on. Let's just say I'm one of their usual suspects. Sort of comes with the territory. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I want to... Many Jedi have fought on this world. One of them lost their lightsaber in the Beast Wars. A reliable source says it's a rare Quixoni crystal. Incredibly rare and valuable. I see that's grabbed your interest, eh? There's only one way you're going to get it. One open starport visa. No visa, no crystal. This is our part of merchant. This room is reserved, off worlder. If you ask me, she got what she deserved. She looked down on us beast riders. Good riddance. I know his face, that's about it. She's a beast rider like me and our leader. You better never be speaking ill of her. Do you have a visa yet? We some more go to see Sheba Dente School in Mostovic Bram Tabanin soldier. The comet just mark. Yatuka, who one Rika Chodin.
Kawana bota yuta tanga kina. Da hupa bosa kura. Kava dumpa muli brava i berendi. Do you have a visa yet? I'm still paying very well for it. I had faith you'd get hold of one. I've always been good at spotting talent. So what do you want for it? A weapon, money, or the lightsaber crystal? Your pick. Here you go. If you aren't satisfied with it, just let me know. General, we have found them again. Have we, Tobin? Or is this a preface to another of your failures? Consider the whole field, Tobin. Why would a Jedi risk all of this just to come to Isis? The crew of the Ebon Hawk is elusive, General. We were warned about that, but we still underestimated them. But the fools are here, in Isis. The intel on this is certain. I'm ordering men loyal to us to take care of them now. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Hold that order. Have her watched instead. The Jedi may prove a solution to another one of our persistent problems. You're back to visit me. So all three captains have been removed from their posts. You're quite impressive. Here's the reward I promised. I will let my friends know of your able assistance. I'm certain we can return the favor at some point in the future. You have made a powerful ally, Jedi. the offworlder. Listen, let's keep this brief. I don't see how it could get worse. We certainly do. He and several other people were picked up in connection to a murder. Captain Sulio. She was in charge of the Starport checkpoint. A good soldier. Your friend was one of the last people that saw her alive. So far, he's just a suspect. But if he did it, the punishment is death. Dagon Ghent is the only person I know with the contacts to help us out. We need to get Dagon out of custody. Until we either eliminate him as a suspect or find the real killer. 
Dagon has quite a record with the authorities. The Colonel thinks that murder isn't too far a stretch for someone like him. No way. We're under orders to make sure no one sees the murder suspects. Command is taking this very seriously. I know Dagon personally. He's one of the worst doctors I've ever heard of. But I can't see him deliberately killing someone. He was one of the last people seen with Captain Sulio in the cantina. Ask around there. I've heard he's got a good motive for killing her. If you can somehow clear that up and prove it wasn't him... Come Stay out of... It's the off work. I don't... Welcome back, my deck. Foul business, that is. Like most nights, I was here. Never. Dagon thought very highly of the good captain. I did too. <sighs> know him. He's probably my best friend on this planet. Never. Dagon thought very highly of the good captain. I did too. I thought it was you. I served in the Mandalorian Wars with you. You're a Jedi, right? I was one of the ground troops. We fought on Daggery Minor together. It was near the beginning of the war. We, uh, we didn't win that battle. Enough of the past. The whole galaxy... A pity. The Republic... Are you satisfied with your payment for the visa? I really can't be any help with that. I might have been in the same detention cell that night that Dagon's in now. The soldiers were asking me some en- Let's just say... I'm Welcome back, my deck. 
She did? Oh no, by the four moons, what a mix-up. They got it all wrong. Dagon and Sulio were good friends. It's just when they got a little too much Juma juice, they'd carry on. They'd call each other all manner of things. It could get quite hilarious, really. But it was just friendly banter. That night, Sulio was in great form. Dagon and I were laughing about some of the choice ones later. Yellow Tooth Dung Dweller. <laughs> we bought her a couple of drinks afterwards. It may look strange on the outside, but it was just their habit, their way of passing time during these dark nights. Listen, if the soldiers think that's a motive, they just didn't do enough digging. That bit of information will help with clearing Dagon, but the Onderon military won't let him off that easy. They're very obstinate. Maybe some of these people will know more about what happened that night. I was cleaning up stakes from a particularly rewarding Pazak game when I heard a loud sound outside. I grabbed my blaster and went out the door. When I got out, I saw Captain Salio. She was quite dead. Blood was everywhere. I heard a noise and saw Dagon Ghent coming from his office across the courtyard. We both waited for the authorities to get there. The next day, they picked up Dagon and several other people in the area. It's crazy to think he did it. Salio was our friend. Just outside the door by the junk heap. It might be a good idea to look at the crime scene. We fought many soldiers in the Mandalorian Wars. The Onderonians were certainly brave, but they were disorganized and stupid. I wouldn't be surprised if they overlooked something. I'd much rather... Are you satisfied with your... Let's just say... Oh! Need to... Don't... This room is reserved. I know his face, it's about... She's a beast right. talked with mentioned a droid. This droid was destroyed recently. Someone inside the canteen... That would be Bohemia's SOD2. Uh, no, SOD3. Or is it two? Whichever one it was, he keeps losing them. I remember when I arrived, it was still smoldering. Who knows? Sometimes the slum dwellers shoot his serving droids for fun. This part of the quarter is getting more and more lawless, I'm afraid. When Dagon and I were waiting for the soldiers, we had to chase off some scavengers that were stripping SOD3. No, I'm afraid there was quite a crowd growing. We were seeing if there was any way we could help Sullio. There was nothing we could do, of course. She was dead. Are you satisfied? I... Oh, need... Da Rupa, Go Sakurata, Go Jujutu, Conta Tiwita Inca. Da Wancha Morechiwa, Mufalawa Ni. Ichawa, the Crossy Wisho. Thank you. 
I am 1B8. Reinitializing complete. That goes against my primary behavior programming. All items. Market conditions all set to zero. All prices now set. Greetings, Master. Do you have... 1BAD was built and programmed by Tolos the Trader. 1BAD was built to buy droid components for below base cost value and sell components based on most favorable market conditions. to be done? A lot of credits to be paid. Heard of any good finds? A lot of credits to be made. Some of those, some of, some of those alien thugs are delicate, right? that needs to be done? Welcome back. That would be Bohemia's SOD2. Uh, no, SOD3. Who knows? Sometimes the slump. When Dago. No, I'm afraid there was quite. Welcome back, my... 
that when Dagon and I No. Da. 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 A lot of credits to be made around here. Finds. Greetings, Master. Do you have certainly one be sorry? Greetings, Master. That goes again. It's the Offworlder. Listen, I don't see how... There has been a serious...
I am Mandalore, but I will not be. Now is there something? 